In this year, 2018, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and many other European countries are celebrating 100 years of independence. In proclaiming their independence, these countries invoked the right of self-determination. The idea of self-determination goes back to the 18th century, but it proved truly influential in the 20th. It was then that the former colonial empires were uh, being uh, destroyed and uh, after the Second World War there was a massive movement of decolonization. Indeed, the 20th century has even been called the century of self-determination. Yet, there are still over a hundred stateless nations which are pursuing greater self-determination, but with no success. Furthermore, as the re recent clashes and uh, controversies over the fate of Kosovo, Kurdistan, uh, Catalonia and Scotland have demonstrated, there is no universal sympathy for such quests for self-determination. Why is this ideal so controversial then? In our seminar, we are going to look at it from three perspectives. First, we are going to interrogate international lawyers and international relations scholars about uh, the distinctive approaches that these disciplines have adopted to this idea and ideal. Second, we are going to discuss the intellectual history and political history of this ideal. We are going to ask what is its relationship to the categorical imperative of Immanuel Kant or to the self-realization ideal of John Stuart Mill. And last but not least, we are going to discuss this idea from a philosophical point of view. We are going to ask who are the people who are entitled to this right? Are these states, states peoples, colonies, or are these nations, historically formed uh, communities with a distinct cultural identity? If it is the case that it is nations, we must also be prepared to accept the consequence that this ideal clashes with another ideal, the idea of sovereignty and the idea of the territorial integrity of states. And finally, we shouldn't exclude the possibility that this ideal is morally uncompelling and politically dangerous and should better be proclaimed dead and obsolete.